My first memory of Howard Street was, um, oh, <laughs> well, what a pleasant place it was. My first memory of Howard Street was one of the um, chaps from the um, Everest driving past and saying, oh, are you moving in? And us saying yes, and him saying, you must come for a curry as soon as you've settled in. Uh, which we did. When I was very young, playing cricket out, outside the pub, we used to use the the pub wall. We put uh, chalk mark cricket stumps, and and we we play play cricket there. I've lived in Howard Street for seventy five years. In actual fact, I was born here. So, Joe must be one of the youngest um, residents of Howard Street. I'd have thought. He's coming up to six months old and um, he's lived here his whole life so far. My first memory of Howard Street, the snow. Back in them days, it used to snow quite often. And um, me and my brother and sister, we was attending one of the, the primary schools and it was really cold back then. I moved to Howard Street in November 2020. It's very long. I remember feeling quite daunted when I first moved here because I came from Bristol where I lived in a block of flats. And so we didn't really have neighbours and suddenly I'm on this, the longest street in Oxford. Um, and it's got a very different feel, much more of a community type area. I'd been looking in the paper for a house to move to and I wanted a house in a village, not really in East Oxford and not really in Howard Street. Then I saw on the back of a newspaper a picture of a great big green thing that looked like a ship, it looked really friendly. My first memory of Howard Street was when I came to um, look at the house that I now live in. Um, when it was for sale. I'm very lucky about living on Howard Street because my house backs onto the allotments. I've lived on Howard Street in this house for five years, but I used to live across the road at number 49, um, and I moved in in 1976 and stayed there until 1983. So I've lived, really lived in Howard Street twice. I came here when I was looking for somewhere to live. I was living in Sydney Street, which is just a couple of streets down. And if you live in rented houses, you always have to move once a year because the landlord wants you out or you don't get on with the other people or whatever. So I saw the house next door actually advertised and I lived in 86 for a year. I remember one story on Howard Street. Um, I probably would have been about five or six. I remember going into my um, parents' room and my mum said, there's a fire engine across the road. And uh, I think it was um, our friends, one of our friends got stuck in the bathroom. He probably only would have been about four or five. Well, I have to be honest, there's a fox that walks around Howard Street late at night and it often brays outside my gate and it's very scary because my dogs go into hysterics and bark vigorously, and it's not very good. Luckily, neighbors, very kindly over there, chase it away because I'm not going to go out and tackle a fox, no way. And now I've run up this road many times. If I'm not being chased by a dog, <laughs> had races with my brother and my sister and some friends of ours. Um, we was always in the sweet shop around the corner. We was always in the church in St Albans. We were like a family. We were talking about our old neighbours. We looked after them and they looked after us. I think the time I enjoyed best was when uh, my neighbour at 98, Jan Mark, uh, and I used to get together most Saturday evenings in her garden or in my garden and we'd just have a bottle of wine between us and sit looking out as the sun went down and the bats came out and the birds sang. This house is very old before lots of the other houses on Howard Street and it was we've only got part of this house but it was all built as one big house then the farmer who was 
building it, ran out of money and the vicar of Cowley came and he took over the whole house and he had um, unmarried mothers and their children, so ch children that were born out of wedlock as it was called in those days and they all lived in here. Well, what's happened in Howard Street since I've been here? I remember the Millennium New Year's Eve party on the street. That was quite exciting. On Millennium Eve, New Year's Eve 1999, there was a street party and then we had a street party uh, at the bank holiday just a few days ago. <laughs> has changed quite a lot in some ways, but not in others, since I moved in in 1990. I think um, the most obvious change for me has been my immediate neighbours, who were older people at the time I moved in and obviously have sadly moved away or died, and houses have changed hands and so on. So the people that I knew when I first came um, are largely different now, but the, the street still has a really great... Um, spirit, I think, and a, a nice community feel. It's changed, and probably not for, the, as far as I'm concerned, not for the better. We, we, we've lost a lot of what made Howard Street quite special. It's, it's changed from being basically what was a working class area uh, to one which has become uh, very, very middle class. We had some trees planted, which you can see further down the street. Uh, one of them is sort of dying, but the one at the end is now really high. So when you look at a tree that you remember as a sapling and then you see it as a, a, a full-grown tree, you realise a lot of years must have gone past. It changed, certainly since when I was living there in the 1970s. Um, a lot of the houses were quite run down. And what I find, find now is that there's a lot more families living here, young families living here, which is lovely. Um, so when I first moved here, there, there were a lot of the people, there were a lot of quite elderly people, and I think a lot of the houses didn't even have, didn't have bathrooms. They were quite, you know, they were quite um, old-fashioned. They hadn't been modernised, um, and now the houses are much nicer. <laughs> it's so nice to see them being well looked after. And recently, the change that has meant a lot to me is there being no cars. It's lovely and peaceful. You can't hear any. Listen. Well, I think so pleased that they've stopped the traffic and it's now much less um, noisy. I don't think it's changed a lot since I've been here because I've only been here for a year and a half, apart from the introduction of the modal filter outside of my house, which has caused quite a lot of excitement recently. The modal filter is um, the block that's been implemented by the council to stop traffic from driving through Howard Street to try and make it into a quieter, calmer area. More greenery outside the front the front of the whole road. But it's not so not so many children. Not only when they have their trips, uh, when um, schools like La Cries come from the alleyway, we see them in the morning and they are cackling all the way in, in their rows and they come back. But um, it's not so playful. I love Howard Street. I think it's got an amazing community. I think the fact that you're doing this and making this film is really lovely. Um, met some wonderful people. The street parties, that's been I moved here during lockdown. So it actually was quite a good time to get to know a lot of people because nobody was going out. So I knew that my neighbours had no choice but to talk to me over the garden walls. Well, I like Howard Street because it's very close to the centre of Oxford, which I like to walk into, and it's close to the River Thames, and it's very good for a quick exit out of town. I think there's a lot of very good things about Howard Street. I like the feeling of community. This little community garden um, halfway down the street is also really lovely. Yeah, I remember when this was made. The best thing about Howard Street is the Nepalese restaurant. Um, um, I don't know if you can smell it, but we can often smell it from the garden. And it always makes us really hungry and makes us want to go and eat there. 
My best and most favourite thing about Howard Street, I think, I, are the people. Uh, it's, you know, some um, individuals that I've grown up, some I've known all my life, but others who have moved in and become very good friends. Oh, I think it's a lovely place to live. Uh, it's very friendly. Um, the gardens are nice. Um, and it's, it's just a very good place to live. It's got a good feeling, good community. I like Howard Street because it's very friendly. I know lots of people on it. And when I go up to the co-op from my house, I meet about 17 million people and never get my strawberries for about an hour. But it's very friendly. It's the people, I think, I like about Howard Street. Mm -hmm.